Изврат бути и дел пезовод обратно. Стубин и сноб чизов. <coughs> Меня зовут Бил. И я не сноб чизов. and hand-painted in the 80s to commemorate Viktor Markin, who won the 400-meter dash for the Soviet Union that year. The specs of this watch are as follows. The case is 42 millimeters. This model is called the Volcano. It has a hand-wound Slava 17 jewel movement, and it is chrome-plated, just like everything in the 80s. The pros and cons of this watch are as follows. This watch is super cool and it's unique, like I haven't found anything like this online. Um, I'm trying to track more information about it, but um, all I have gathered so far is what I could find via eBay. So, um, But I just think it's so cool. I love how it's a mixture of both history and art. I think that this watch is so gorgeous. Um, if this watch could talk, I'd love to hear the stories it has, just knowing that, you know, this was used and worn in such a important time in history that it just, it's really cool to think about to me, that I'm holding a piece of history in my hand. I mean, besides the usual wear and tear, this watch is 46 years old and it's still holding up. I mean, look how other things from the 80s aged. Now, this watch doesn't have any loom, but if you hold it under a blacklight, the paint will glow like a fluorescent orange. And if you swivel it around the blacklight and play with the light, the feet will glow as well, almost like as if it's running around. Now whether or not that was done on purpose, I have no clue. I just think it looks really cool under a blacklight. Let me know in the comments if you've ever thought about owning a vintage watch. I'd really like to know. And remember, my name is Bill, I'm not a watch snob, and neither are you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.